हॅलो आय एम अनिकेत फ्रॉम तर्कशास्त्र अकॅडमी एम बी ए सी ई डी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी इज नाव युअर रिझल्ट आर आउट मेनी ऑफ यू मस्ट बी प्रिपेअरिंग फॉर जे बी आय एम एस अँड माईट हॅव मिस्ड इट बाय वन ऑर टू पर्सेंटाईल ऑर मे बी इवन पॉईंट वन पर्सेंटाईल ओके सो जे बी आय एम एस कट ऑफ इज डेफिनेटली अबाउट नाईन्टी नाईन पॉईंट नाईन पर्सेंटाईल अँड यू माईट हॅव स्कोर्ड नाईन्टी नाईन पॉईंट फाईव्ह so oh, you all were actually preparing for jbims and you have missed out by a whisker now there is a good news you can still get into jbims even if you have scored 97% with the score of 97% you can get into jbims i am going to reveal that surprise for you the surprise is jbims msc finance many of you might not have thought about jbims msc finance but then it is a very good course provided by jbms which will give you the brand name of jbms and also the type of jobs which a finance guy de- desires for so we are going to look at everything about jbms finance msc finance what was the admission process last year so jbms msc finance admission process is dependent on your cet result okay because they accept cet as one of the criteria now i am whatever i am telling you is according to last year's notification there might be some changes in this year's notification but then as soon as the notification is out we will be updating it to you with the changes but then to have a brief idea you should go through this video and understand what the eligibility is what are is the what are the total number of seats what is the uh, fees then what is the admission process what is the selection criteria followed by what is the batch profile and the placement uh, scenario so eligibility the candidate should be should have appeared for mhc et 2021 as i told you i am telling you last year's notifications data so this year it will be candidate should have appeared for mhc et 2022 or cat 2021 or cat 2021 to be eligible for the process okay the candidate who have appeared for union public services commission civil services examination in 2018 or 19 and have appeared for interviews or personality test means clearing preliminary and mains exam and due for the interview will also be eligible for admission process they are exempted from mhc et and cat okay so who all can apply for this process candidates who have written mba cet exam candidates who have written recent cat exam and candidates who have appeared for upsc exam in last two years and have cleared prelims and mains both these candidates are eligible for applying for msc finance total number of seats in this program is 30 only and the fees is approximately approximately 3 lakh rupees next the admission process the initial filter applied for the profile evaluation is for general category cat percentile is 95 percentile and ct percentile is 97 percentile that is why i am telling you that even if you have scored 97 98 percentile in mba cet you can still get into jbms for reserved categories it includes obc sc st nt everything for them cat percentile is 75 and mba cet percentile is 90 and for ph category only 75 percentile in cat and 85 percentile in mba cet also there is one more eligibility criteria which is the par cut off that is in your 10th standard or equivalent you should have scored 60 percentage or above for general category and 55 percentage or above for reserve category same is the case in 12th standard so in 12th standard also for general category 60 plus for reserve category 55 plus now the selection criteria or the admission process so approximately 300 candidates will be called or evaluated for in person assessment through digital mode based on their application rating score so these this will help you find out your application rating score 
Okay. So they have provided us the information how they will calculate their application rating score. Application rating score is your CAT, MHCT, UPSC score plus your PAR score which is 10, 12th and graduation score followed by your extracurricular and work experience followed by diversity. Now this diversity can be academic diversity or gender diversity. Overall total is 100 marks for application rating score. Now based on these 100 marks top 300 candidates will be called for in-person assessment. Okay, understand this thing. Total there are 30 seats for that 300 candidates will be called for. And that means you are fighting for, I mean, 10 candidates are fighting for one seat. Then in-person assessment will be taken, which is GA. GA is what? Group activity, 20 marks. PI, that is personal interview, 60 marks. And VAT, which is written ability test, wherein you will have to write an essay on the given topic. For that, it is 20 marks. And then total again is 100 marks. So your admission process is first your application rating score, which is CAT, CET or UPSC score. Then 10, 12 graduation score, extracurricular work experience, diversity. If you clear that, you go for in-person assessment. What is going to happen in your in-person assessment? Group activity, VAT and personal interview. Simple. Based on that, there is this formula. And based on the formula, you are going to get the final score. Whoever gets the better score will get into JPMS. It is as simple as that. Now, look at the batch profile over there. Total batch size is of 30. Of it, 70% are engineers, 17% are management students, 10% commerce, and 3% science students. Then, students generally have work experience majority of them having in engineering and technology followed by IT. If you look at the summer placement re uh, report of this the highest stipend went to 2.4 lakhs per month and the average stipend was 1.32 lakh rupees per month. Many MBAs after MBA are not able to get this salary and students in JBMS, MSc Finance summer placement students they are getting that much amount of stipend it is not even a job it is your internship stipend which is higher than many colleges uh, mba many mba graduates uh, in and salary okay so they are able to me they are able to beat many mba graduates in hand salary of a job in a internship and these are the prominent recruiters. These are the roles offered over here. Now look at the final placement report. Average CTC is approximately 20 lakh rupees. Median CTC is 18 lakh rupees, which is equally good or as good as MBA, JBIMS, MBA, uh, MBA average health. Okay. Again, the batch size is of 27. Everything is similar. What are the roles of it? Risk management, wholesale banking, transaction banking, international banking, investment banking, management consultant, credit analyst, corporate risk, rating analyst. All of these are the desired profiles by MBA finance or any finance graduate. Okay, so definitely whenever this notification comes and you fit in the eligibility criteria definitely fill the form for jbms msc finance so we'll wait for the notification it will be soon it will be out soon so don't worry about it it is going to be a good opportunity don't get disheartened that you are not able to go into jbms there is one more opportunity start preparing for it so by preparing what do i understand or what do i mean Start preparing for finance because in personal interview, they are going to ask you about finance-based questions. Okay. They in VAT also may be related to financial uh, topic and group activity can also be based on case study, which is dependent on uh, finance knowledge or it may have many terms and regulations that are generally used in finance. So start preparing for finance, okay?
so this is the opportunity if you feel that there is something which we might have missed out or you want some extra information on any particular topic you can connect with us on any one of these three social media platforms or visit our website tarkashastra.co.in or send a whatsapp message on any one of these two numbers thank you so much jai hind